Emotions were high at Fremont High School tonight. Wayne 15's Tony Sandlaven was there and joins us with details on how tonight's Fremont Bethany Christian matchup was more than just a game. Tony? Yeah, Dirk, emotional is certainly the word to describe the Fremont Gymnasium tonight. This week has been an emotional roller coaster for Bethany Christian. After one of its seniors, one of its players, senior Keyshawn Smith, got in a car accident on his way to a college visit in Huntington University and passed away. The game plan for both teams was simple play for Kiki. Postseason basketball. Play is tougher. Crowds are louder and spirit is higher. But for Bethany Christian High School, this sectional game became a community-wide tribute to number 34. It's been very hard. He was an extremely close friend of mine. He was like a brother to me. We grew up together in middle school. He came along. Fremont High School teamed with Blackhawk Christian and Hamilton to support Bethany Christian. Opening this sectional play with a moment of silence in his memory, as well as a group prayer with all four teams. What we're going to try to do tonight is show some support for Bethany, try to show them that we've got their back. I know that they've had a really tough week with what's happened. And also uh, do a little, a little tribute to Keyshawn as well. Even though Bethany Christian and Fremont were opponents on the court, they were united off of it. Yes, those are Fremont cheerleaders wearing Keyshawn Smith's number 34. A memorial service for Keyshawn is set for tomorrow afternoon at 2. He was 18 years old. I'm in studio, Tony Sandlaven, Wayne 15 News.